everybody, it's Steve from B&H Photo. I'm here with Steve Cooperman of Panasonic, and he's gonna show us the new DVX 200. Hi, thanks, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we just announced this uh, this morning. It's our brand new AG DVX 200. It's our first handheld 4K camera. Now, it's similar to the GH4 in terms of the sensor size. Yes, it's a four-third sensor like the uh, GH4 camera. But this is important. It does broadcast UHD, but then also it does cinema at 24 yep, it, it, yep, it does uh, 4096 by 2160 at 24.00 frames. It also does, um, you know, UHD as well as shooting in uh, HD format. So I've got broadcast and I've got cinema applications. Yep. That's fabulous. Yeah, it's a pretty cool camera. Um, it's a perfect blend where a customer needs high quality 4K, but the run and gun flexibility that they might get from some of our HD cam ports. And because it's the four thirds chip sensor, you do get the cinema depth of field, shallow depth you get, of field thing. You get shallow depth of field, which is nice. But then again, you also get some other features on this to help with your shooting. Things like uh, a 13X optical zoom lens. Uh, things like... It's built in, not interchangeable. It's built into the camera. Uh, by having a built-in lens, it lets us have some control over the lens. It's This is the kind of camera where you pick up, you know, you want to pick up, run and gun, shoot at a concert, shoot at a live event, I go on an airplane and travel worked somewhere. Worked with a lot of cameras like that, but not in 4K. Exactly, so. and that's that. we heard some customers that wanted this for that part of the market. Has those types of features, uh, oh, even has two uh, AAS audio inputs, so you could record audio into the camera good. as well. XLR audio pits? XLR audio times two, yes. So we're all set there. Yep. So it's a sweet looking little camera, and very excited. Outputting it now it records to what exactly? It records uh, it records the formats again whether it's AVC HD for HD, uh, MOV wrap files, intra frame for HD right, but what's or the for medium 4K. What's the medium going to record on? Records on the SD cards. Fabulous. And then it outputs. Set a couple of outputs. Will output via HDMI 2.0 for 4K up to 60p. And that's 422 10-bit for 422 10 tech bit. guys who really want to know it. Yep, as well as via 3G HDSDI for uh, high-quality HD output. Right, so the 3G SDI is only for HD monitoring. Yes. Cool. Or for usage in H if you're or shooting in HD. right to HD, absolutely. Yes. Yep. Well, Steve, is there anything else we've missed about this guy? Um, great camera, also has a, a nice LCD uh, flip-out right. as we've well as that. an OLED viewfinder. Um, you know, so it's of, a very well-known form factor. It's a very no, well-known form factor, and you know, one of the great things about shallow depth of field is the, you know, the creative artistic uh, um, sense that uh, that DPs like. The issue is obviously, you know, it's more difficult to focus, especially if you're in a run and gun type situation. So it's nice to have the flip out LCD as well as the uh, the viewfinder. So run and gun 4K. Run and gun 4K for indie cinema and live type events. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks for spending time with us, Steve. Hey, thank you very much. And thanks for watching.